my best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you As you guys already saw in the beginning clip, I just worked out and I took a shower. I didn't wash my hair though, so that's why it looks absolutely bonkers right now. So please ignore all this uh, frizz and everything. I don't have any makeup on, so I wanted to show you guys what I am using today. And then I'm gonna fix up my hair situation. <laughs> Tell me in the comments actually in what order you do your like beauty everyday morning routine or steps because I would love to know. I always do my makeup first before I do my hair. I never do my hair first and then my makeup. I don't know why, it just feels wrong to me. <laughs> I need my face done before I focus on anything else. <laughs> I am also drinking my coffee of the day in my dog mom little mug that I have right here. It is so freaking adorable. So let's go ahead and get started with my makeup because I'm so excited to share with you guys. This portion of the video is in collaboration with Merit Beauty. They reached out to me a couple weeks ago asking me if I wanted to try out their line of products. I honestly couldn't have been more excited for this opportunity. They kindly sent me a lot of their products to try out. So I'm so excited to put them on in front of the camera for you guys. If you guys don't know already who Merit Beauty is, it is a clean, vegan, and cruelty-free beauty line who really stream streamlines your makeup routine in the morning and makes it very enjoyable for you to get ready. I am obsessed with their clean, minimalistic aesthetic. Mara Beauty is perfect for those who are minimalists at heart and who want to really simplify their beauty routine in the morning. They provide versatile and fuss-free products that are super easy to blend, that are really just effortless. And I really, really think that you guys are going to love the products that I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and jump into the makeup. One of the things that I really do love about them is that they actually care about our planet and they do strive more towards sustainable practices. And when I got the package, I have been waiting for this because I've seen this all over Instagram and I just love the look and aesthetic of it. It is this reusable makeup pouch and it just looks so dang adorable. I can't get over it. I love this color and you guys already know I'm such a neutrals gal and this just doesn't clash with anything on my vanity table and it really does simplify my makeup routine in the morning. I don't have to think about it and it's just like everything is just so well edited and curated. It's just absolutely beautiful. This is the bag. Obviously, I told you it's kind of like that corduroy material. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to be showing you my minimal like work from home kind of day makeup today using a lot of the products from Merit. And I'm gonna be talking through all these products and my thoughts on them. I've been using their products for about a week or so and I have a pretty good solid review slash like opinion about their products so I will be sharing them with you guys. I'm gonna put my hair back because that's literally what I do every single time I do my makeup. I have to take a headband and like slide all of my hair back. I look ridiculous. I do have a large forehead or like a wide forehead so please do not make fun of me in the comments. Thank you very much. <laughs> First thing that I usually do, I already have my skin prepped with skincare. I use the same thing like every morning. I will show you guys my whole skincare routine in the next vlog. The first step that I take in this minimal makeup routine is for me to put down my base, which is my foundation. I have two separate colors of the Merit stick foundations. I don't think that's actually what it's called. Let me read it. <laughs> it is called the Perfecting Complexion Stick and I have two different colors, like I said. I have the color Sand and Khaki. I thought that Sand was going to be 
a little too light for me, especially with summer coming right around the corner. And khaki was the next available shade, but it is significantly darker and a little bit more on the tan side than my current skin tone, I believe. So I wanted to mix these together. It actually worked out for me because it creates the perfect color for me. And I love how the sand color is a little bit brighter and lighter on my skin because I can use this to highlight as well as uh, cover up my dark circles. You definitely don't need two shades. Just get your correct shade and you'll be fine. My shade was all sold out when I picked these. <laughs> colors and i got really lucky because i was able to get two separate shades to test out for you guys because a lot of the products they were sold out of or they were out of stock and i just chose something else to like replace it i'm just gonna go in with my color sand and it is it basically looks like this oh, wow did you see that focus you'll see when i put it under my eyes that it is quite uh, significantly lighter than the rest of my face, which is great because I love brightening up my under eyes with this color. I just kind of do this. So that's the sand color. And it is honestly perfect for my under eyes. It's beautiful. And then I like to highlight like the top of my nose, my chin, my forehead. And then I just kind of dot this everywhere. Honestly, I feel like I could get away with just using this shade, but because I do have the khaki shade, I might as well just use it. This one is, I want to say like four or five shades deeper. And that's what the color looks like. And I put these like in between, like you can see how much deeper <laughs> that shade is on me, but I just kind of intermix them around kind of like the edges of my skin. Put a little bit more of sand underneath my nose because I get quite red around my nose. The thing that I was kind of bummed out about is that they were out of stock on their buffing brush or like the foundation brush that you can use with this product. I might actually pick that up at a later time when they are back in stock, but for now, I'm just going to be using my favorite It, uh, it Cosmetics brush, Airbrush Blurring Foundation in number 101. It is my absolute favorite foundation brush. It is so, so good with any like foundation that's not powder foundation this is perfect for so i do you see how easy that blends oh my gosh like it is a dream to blend like this is all i do like that that honestly just blended without any effort you just kind of swirl your brush around and it is just so dang fast <laughs> And that's what I love about this foundation is it takes literally zero effort to blend and it looks absolutely beautiful. Like, oh my gosh, my skin just looks so healthy and it has the perfect kind of natural finish. So it's not super dewy on me, but it's not super matte either where it looks unnatural. It really is like a skin-like finish. And it has such good coverage. This is my favorite thing out of the whole line. Like hands down, this is my favorite Merit product. And I wanna say this is definitely one of my standout products in general. Super quick, I mean, you guys saw how much product I used, but you can use less, you can use more, you can build up the coverage if you want something very full. When I do run out of one of these sticks, I'm definitely gonna purchase my exact shade so that I can just like use that one color. When I say that this is buildable, it really is buildable. I'm gonna put a little bit more underneath my eyes to show you guys what I mean. I just like to cover my under eyes a little bit more and I, just kind of like pat this in and it just looks so good. Merit is really good at just kind of streamlining your routine so you don't need like multiple products for everything. Like a foundation and concealer, those products can be interchanged and they made such a good formula that works for, you know, both areas of the skin. After that, what I do, I go to my brows actually, which is such a weird 
I think, order. <laughs> but I always, always use the Brow Powder Duo by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in the color Soft Brown. And I just run through these in my brows just to give a little bit more color. I do have my eyebrows microbladed, but they are fading. As you can see in the corners, it's very, very feathered out. So I just kind of sh sharpened the edge. That was terrible. Hold on, let me concentrate on this. I hope that Merit comes out with more products in the future because I would love to see them come out with like an eyebrow pencil or an eyebrow powder because that is essential for me. They do have a brow gel. I have it, I will show you and run it through my brows for you guys to see. But yeah, it's not my favorite from Merit to be honest because I'm just the wrong user for it. <laughs> I don't use a lot of brow gels in general. Like I don't have one that I love because it's just not part of my routine. I think it would be really good for someone who does use brow gels in general. Can you get over this packaging? It is so sleek and beautiful. You guys know how much I love gold. <laughs> it is just so pretty and so sleek. It's in brown and I'll show you. I mean, I can use it and brush through it, but I just really don't have a lot of brows for this to work well on me. I mean, it's good, but I just wouldn't use it on a regular basis because it's just an extra step for me. Um, it does deposit a little bit of color, which I do like. Um, so I'm just gonna keep playing around with this and see how I feel. On a minimal makeup day, I really do not mess with eyeshadow. I think you guys already know that about me. I would rather have like a good skin complexion makeup look. The next thing that I'm going to be using is one of their blushes. So I have two colors. One is in Mood and the other one is in Beverly Hills and it is their cheek color. It does remind me of the Milk Makeup packaging. This is very little product, not gonna lie. It's 0.31 ounces. I don't know how much is in the Milk Makeup one, but I do know the formula of this is very, very nice. My favorite one is Beverly Hills because it is more kind of for my skin tone, but this one looks absolutely beautiful as well. It blends really, really nice. It's not scary because it's not super, super pigmented and hard to blend. It's very easy. I will be using the color Beverly Hills today. This is Beverly Hills. This is Mood. So this one definitely is more of that plummy, dark, berry color and Beverly Hills is a much more natural kind of neutral pink color. I'll show you swatches actually. It's so pretty, oh my gosh. I mean, it just melts. The bottom is Mood and the top one is Beverly Hills. So I'm gonna use Beverly Hills on my cheeks today. Literally all I do is take the little stick and just go one, two, three. I just Take a stippling brush and dab this out. Did you, did you see that? How easy that was to blend? Like, that's it. That's all you need to do. And it just gives like the prettiest sheen to the skin. Very, very pretty and natural. It just kind of makes you look really dewy and glossy. It just, oh my gosh, love it. That's all you need to do. Like I barely tapped and it just blends. So that's what the cheek color Beverly Hills looks like on me. The only thing that I do gotta say, um, people with dry skin would love this formula. It is so dewy and hydrating and nourishing. It is such a beautiful formula for dry skin. However, if you do have really, really oily skin and no like cream blush stays on you, this probably wouldn't be the best thing. The color does stay on me. I have combination skin and it 
lasts on me fine. But if you have even more oilier skin, I could see how this could be a little bit tricky to last on your skin and not look greasy throughout the day because it does get dewier throughout the day in my opinion. It doesn't like fully, fully dry down if you know what I'm saying, it stays dewy. That's just something to keep in mind, but I absolutely love, love this. Um, I wanna say this is like my second favorite thing in the collection, but it does tie with their lip oils, which I will get into in just a second after I set my underla underlies, under eyes. You guys already know what I'm gonna use. I'm using my Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the color Comfy. This is what I use to set my under eyes every single day. It just sets everything without making anything look dry or heavy or cakey. That's it. I don't powder anywhere else because I do like to maintain that dew. And now we're just gonna go straight to the lips because like I said, I don't really do my eyes on days like this where I don't need to do my eye makeup. I have two colors of the lip oils as well by Merit. It's called the Tinted Lip Oil and I have two colors, Marrakesh and All Natural. I am obsessed with both of these colors. Okay, so the top is Marrakesh and the bottom is All Natural. So as you can see, the difference between them are very, very slight. Bottom one, like I said, is all, all natural and the top is Marrakesh. Has a beautiful glowy kind of sheen to it. I love lip oils and this is definitely a really good formula. I really, really like them. They don't dry out my lips and they just wear really nicely throughout the day. They're not like super long lasting because obviously they're a lip oil, which is more hydrating. So it's not gonna last like a liquid lip or anything, but I don't mind reapplying this because it is such a joy to feel like that plushness when you put it on. It's, it's awesome, I love it. So I'm gonna put on All Natural. Ugh, this is such a pretty color. This truly is like a your lips but better color. It just kind of saturates your natural lip color a little bit and makes them look so smooth and glossy. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So that's like what the lip looks like. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the harsh light so you guys can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna take this thing out so I don't look as crazy. Well, that didn't really do much cause I still look crazy. <laughs> And that is everything in my Merit Beauty pouch. And that was my minimal kind of makeup routine. Thank you so much Merit Beauty for providing me these lovely products to play with and collaborating with me for this portion of the video. It is now about three o'clock, almost three o'clock on Memorial Day. And I am using this day as like a work day. I'm actually gonna move my camera here because the lighting is a little bit better right here. Like I was saying, I'm going to be vlogging all day today. So after I have some footage, I'm gonna start editing this video. I'm also going to try to film and edit my Chloe tote unboxing because a lot of you guys were interested in seeing that. Oh my gosh, so it finally came in the mail. We ordered that thing back in April guys. And it's, it's literally almost June. It is June. And I had to wait like one to two months for this thing to arrive because it was just like stuck somewhere. And now I finally have it. So I'm going to be unboxing that and hopefully that'll go up sometime this week as well for you guys to watch. Oh my gosh. Look at that blush. Oh my gosh. I love this blush color. It is so pretty. Anyway, I will keep you guys updated for the rest of the day. I feel like today is definitely a chores kind of day. I feel like everything that we have pushed back this whole week has fallen on today to get finished. I'm glad that it was really productive because I did a load of laundry. I also cleaned up around the house a little bit. I edited a lot today. I just finished editing like all the footage from today in hopes that it'll go up tomorrow or on Wednesday. I actually don't think that I'm gonna get to filming the unboxing video for the Chloe tote bag because the sun is gonna go down soon and Charlie and I have to eat dinner in like a few minutes. So I don't think I'm gonna get to it today, which is totally fine. I can do that tomorrow after work because I don't think I have any plans tomorrow. I desperately need to 
repaint my nails because my nails are looking hideous and they have chipped quite a bit. I mean, I've had this polish on for, I wanna say close to two weeks. So, and it's just regular nail polish. I'm using the static nails ones and they lasted a really good amount of time. So it's time for a fresh coat of color. Also, I did change my shirt, by the way. Uh, it is the same day, but I changed it because that other one was just a little uncomfortable. It was like falling down. So I decided to change and put on some sweats cause it is that kind of weekend. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go check up on Charlie and see how he's doing. <laughs> I thought I would share with you guys what rosé we are opening right now because I have seen some comments on my previous vlogs that you guys like when I share my beverages with you guys. So I will be doing that from now on. Maybe we can make it a thing, but <laughs> this one is from uh, one of our wink boxes. I think we received it like maybe a month or so ago. No, I wanna say like two months ago. This is the Loves Me Not Rosé and it's a 2020 rosé. And look at this wine label. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. That was the reason behind me choosing this wine because the label is just so darn cute. It is a California rosé with notes of strawberry, raspberry, and watermelon candy. I'm pretty sure I have tried this before and liked it. I'm not very picky with rosés just because like, I'm not. I'm more picky with my whites and reds than rosés. And I'm really not that picky with sparkling wines either. It says her rosy blush and sweet lemon flavors will leave your heart a flutter, which is very, very cute. I really appreciated the person who commented that they like the beverage recommendations because it made me feel good about sharing my beverages with you guys. <laughs> Cause sometimes I'm just like, are you guys even interested in seeing this? So. Yeah, it helps. It really, it really does help. Let me go ahead and pour myself and Charlie a glass. Also, I just want to show you guys this wine cup that Charlie got me. I think one of her first Christmases together. It is a wine glass that says wine because people or because punching people in the face is illegal. If this doesn't scream an Aries person dealing with people, Nothing does. <laughs> this is like the epitome of an Aries person. Let's try this baby out. That initial pour. Oh, look at that color. So beautiful. One of the best things about trying different wines is appreciating just like the fragrance and the color. I just love, oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Mm, yeah, it smells really fruity. You can definitely smell like the strawberry notes in it. Yeah, love it. I'm not a wine sommelier or an expert by any means. Trust me, I'm not. But I did work at a wine bar very briefly sometime last year. So I do know a little bit about, about uh, the, am I speaking correctly? I don't think so. I do know a few things about wine and I have contemplated on taking sommelier classes because wine is just something that I really, really enjoy and love learning about and discovering. You guys already know from all of my vlogs that I love going to wineries. It's just like Charlie and I's thing at this point. Okay, let me try this baby out. Cheers. Hmm, like very fruity, refreshing just like how a rosé should be. The color is just gorgeous. Um, and Charlie's a sweetheart and made us food again. Um, for all of you guys who say that I did a great job marrying someone who cooks, yes, you are right. I am very blessed to have married a person who loves to cook. <laughs> Definitely am blessed on that end, for sure. You don't have to remind me every single time, guys, okay? Okay. <laughs> I do things around the house too, okay? <laughs> I'm not sure if, the, if I'm gonna leave this in the vlog or not. We'll see because it might spur up some things. But I understand when people comment about that because obviously it's like more rare for men to cook in the household. You know, like men are always known 
or more socially accepted as like the breadwinner the career oriented person and the women are it is like the the traditional way of thinking is that you know i don't mean to offend anyone by saying this i'm just obviously just telling you guys my thoughts because you guys are my friends right i have certain feelings when people say like oh my gosh like you, uh, you're so lucky that your husband cooks for you or you're so lucky But when they see a woman cook in the kitchen No one praises them. You know what I'm saying? It's like no one's like, oh my gosh Like your husband must be so lucky that you cook all the meals for him It's like no one says that So I have an issue when people say that about like men cooking When men cook, it's this like rare Pokemon that <laughs> you know what i'm saying i hope you guys understand where i'm trying to go with this i'm not trying to say like i'm not trying to downplay anyone's role i just think it's it's unfair for women to be expected of certain things and not appreciated for but when men do the same types of activities they are automatically like they win an award like they get a trophy for it. I, I, I don't know. I hope you guys understand. I'm not trying to offend anyone. Obviously, like I'm just being a little bit of a feminist here. So I'm like, yes, I know I am blessed that I have a husband, you know, who cooks for me, but he obviously loves to cook and he doesn't like to do other things or he's not good at other things that I do around the house but I'm not gonna show on camera like every little thing that I do versus what my husband does. Like, it's it's just, you know, like cooking and like food is such a huge part of everyone's life that that's going to be the most apparent thing. The person who cooks, it's gonna look like that person does the most like work in the household. But you know, you, you guys know, you guys know what I'm saying. I think we all get it <laughs> at this point, what I'm trying to say. Anyway, we're gonna enjoy some food. Charlie made some amazing lamb skewers. I gotta give it to him. He is just like, honestly though, like that's just one thing that I just hate doing. I hate cooking. Like I, I honestly hate cooking. I got very, very lucky for sure. And blessed to have a husband who doesn't hate cooking, who actually enjoys it. All right, let me show you guys what we're eating. Hello, say hi. <laughs> uh, He's just such a sweetheart. So we're having basma, no, jasmine rice? Uh, yeah. Okay. Jasmine and some cumin. Ooh. And basmati. we got a side salad. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna grill up these, which looks amazing. We're doing it inside of our house just because, you know, we don't wanna roast any cicadas today. Just saying. Yum. No. <laughs> I don't need cicada protein today. Quick side note, you know the area where I got my second dose of the COVID shot? It's still itchy. Wait, really? To this day, it's been a freaking week, man. It's been a whole week. Oh, that's weird. And my skin is still itchy. It's not sore or anything like that. Just itchy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat now. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. This is going to be the outro of this video. It's already 10, 20 p.m. at night, so I am still working on editing this video. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish tonight so it'll go up tomorrow. If not, it'll go up on Wednesday. But basically, Charlie and I just ate dinner and then we just kind of hung out for a bit. Oh, and I did paint my nails. <laughs> Success. Look how glossy they look. It is that really deep olive color that I that I love and adore because olive is just like the fun neutral. I always say that. I hope you guys had a wonderful four day weekend and I will talk to you guys again soon. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you wanna stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.